jazzer. I, most of the things I've ever written are jazz, and I have a couple of ensembles that uh, that I write for. We rehearse weekly for the just for the joy of rehearsing and, and playing stuff, and uh, record every now and then. Uh, a marvelous musician, uh, Kim Richmond, who plays in one of my ensembles, uh, told me about this and asked me if I would like to participate as one of the composers. And uh, I, I approached it with a little trepidation. This was three concerts ago because these guys are all serious top composers who make a living at composing. And uh, frankly, I do something else for a living and write music just for the enjoyment of doing it. So that's how I got involved. The Mustang Ranch is a venerable institution in Nevada. We lived in Las Vegas in the early 70s and actually visited it on our honeymoon. That was 41 years ago and we're still going strong. So, At any rate, uh, uh, yeah, so at some point in history, uh, the state of Nevada with the federal government decided they were going to shut the Mustang Ranch down and um, and launched a series of lawsuits doing just that and shut them down. There was, there, there was folklore that the United States government actually ran the Mustang Ranch for a time, but the owner, uh, a fellow named Joe Conforte, uh, launched a, a lengthy legal battle which must have been horrendously expensive that went all the way up to the Supreme Court who decided that, well, if that's what they want, that's what they want, so it's okay. And the Mustang Ranch even today is alive and well. And so this piece of music was just a depiction of the various stages in this, uh, in this odyssey. The first one uh, depicts uh, the sheriff driving across the hot Nevada desert. You can see the, the heat rising off the desert floor, and he's He's hatching a, 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 a plot, what he's going to say to Joe Conforte to shut him down. Uh, by the way, if this is ever optioned for a movie, I'd like Brad Pitt to play Carrie Cooper to play Joe Conforte. And anyhow, uh, so that's that. The second, the second part of this is the confrontation between Sheriff Ralph Lamb and uh, Joe Conforte. And finally, the third movement is uh, the point at which the Mustang Ranch wins its Supreme Court case and the staff of the ranch and all of its customers are clearly delighted. We have a party and there is dancing and carousing to no end.